More than a half a century before he, Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk felt compelled to warn the world of artificial intelligence back in 1942, before the term was even coined, the science fiction writer Isaac Asimov wrote The Three Laws of Robotics, a moral code to keep our machines in check. And the three laws of robotics are, a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. The second law, a robot must obey orders given by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. And the third, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first and the second law. That sounds logical. Do these three laws provide a basis to work from to develop moral robots? Marcus, what do you think? I, I think that they make for good science fiction. There are lots of plots that you know, can turn around having these kinds of laws. But the first problem, if you've ever programmed anything, is a concept like harm is really hard to program into a machine. So it's one thing to program in geometry or compound interest or something like that where we have precise, necessary, and sufficient conditions. Nobody has any idea how to, how, in a generalized way, get a machine to recognize something like harm or justice. So there's a very serious programming problem. And then there are a couple other problems, too. One is that not everybody would agree that a robot should never allow a human to come to harm. And what, what if, for example, we're talking about a terrorist or um, a sniper or something like that. I mean, some people, not everybody, but some people might actually want to allow that uh, in, into what they would let robots do. And then um, the third issue, if you really think through the third one uh, of those laws, is it sets up robots to be second-class citizens and ultimately to be slaves. And right now, that might seem OK, because robots don't seem very clever. But as they get smarter and smarter, they might resent that, or it might not feel like the appropriate thing to do. You mean those laws might not be fair to robots? They might not be fair to robots. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. But. Uh, the problem is not just with the machines, but our ethical code itself, surely. Do we know what fair is? Well, if, that is, if we agree we should be fair to robots. I mean, that's part of the problem, is we don't know what code we should program in. So Asimov's laws are a nice starting point, at least for, for a novel. But for example, imagine that we programmed in our laws from the 17th century. Then we would have thought slavery was OK. So we maybe don't want to program in the fixed laws that we have right now to shackle the robots forever. We don't want to burn them into the ROM chips of the robots. But we also don't know how we want the uh, morals to, to um, grow over time. And so it's a very complicated issue. Mm -hmm.